Welcome back to SFX Amy and today I'm going to be teaching you through how to do a cookie cutter SFX. My model is Rachel, she is a cake baker. She makes some fantastic cakes and you should follow her on Raccoon's Kitchen. The first thing that you want to do is get an eyeliner pencil or whatever you have at hand and mark the outline of where you want to put the SFX. Once I've drawn the outline, what I like to do is go in with a wipe and I like to just make sure that it's not as bright because sometimes it can come through the material that you're using. Today I'm using silicone, I'm using parts A, B and C and I'm mixing these in a palette together and just applying it to the outline of the heart. You want to apply whatever you're using, silicone, skull wax or latex, all around the edges and make sure everything is linked up. Then Rachel decided that she did want another heart on her forehead, so then I went in and outlined that and then went over it in silicone. Once the silicone is dry, what I'm doing is just going over it in a couple of the colours and making sure that there's no shine and that it also blends into her skin. Then with my red and black snazzery paints, what I'm doing is just adding some colour to the inside of the area. Now again, not sure what my sister's input is, but she seems to be doing some sort of bronzer, highlight, eyeshadow thing going on. Here all I'm doing is because Holly has put makeup on Rachel, I'm just trying to blend in the silicone a bit more because it went a bit light. The next step is blood. Now I've got a runny blood and I've got a thicker blood. So first I'm going in with the uh, runny blood and I'm going to be just popping this along the inside just to get like a little basic coat really. And then what I'm going to do is go in with the thicker blood and just add some more texture to it. Using Mold Life's Vinyl, what I'm doing is just getting a stipple sponge and I'm just putting little dots of blood around the area. Then I'm doing the exact same to the love heart on her forehead. All you have to do is just tidy up the hearts, make them look how you want, fill in the corners, and then you are sorted. There we have the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for Rachel's outtakes, or should I say, Rachel's faces. FYI, other cookie cutter shapes are available. I
Okay, yo. 